Tim, what's good, bro? Masa, how you doing, brother? Good, man. Listen, I have a little problem. You got a second? Yeah, what's going on? All right, so you know I got the new studio set up, right? Yeah. All right, so I have a shot in S-Log 2 in the studio, and since I'm going to be filming here really often, I want to be able to save those settings. Tell me there's some kind of way that I could save my entire node tree so that I could use it in future projects. I got you, man. My man. I've got this sequence of shots here. Uh, I took these shots in Beijing and the color grade that I gave these shots really kind of encompassed the feel of Beijing to me. Um, the muted color tones and the smog, uh, yet it's still kind of vibrant and punchy because all the traffic and, and the population there is crazy. So I've got power windows, I've got qualifiers, um, I've got a layer mixer here. And if I wanted to save this node tree as a LUT, um, that'd be totally possible, but it wouldn't work out so well uh, because really just the color transform information would go over the log, the color wheel information, the saturation, the contrast, um, the curves information, but stuff like power windows, qualifications, um, layer mixtures, some of those things are going to have a harder time transferring over if you save them as a LUT. And so really in this situation, you'd want to save this as an entire node tree. And the easiest way to copy the entire node tree to another clip in your timeline would just be to go to uh, the clip that you want to grade, like this one's ungraded, and I can do two things. I can click in on the mouse wheel over the clip where I want to take the node tree from. So let's say this clip in the beginning, I can click in on the mouse wheel here, and voila, it'll copy over the node tree. Um, another way I can do this, if I hit Control Z to undo that, I can go to this clip in the beginning, right click, and apply grade while this last clip is selected, and it'll do that same exact thing. Now let's say I want to transfer this node tree from the first clip to another clip that's not in this timeline. Because by default in the color tab of DaVinci Resolve, you'll only have access to the clips here that are in the current timeline you're working in. So if you're in a different timeline, you won't be able to see these clips to be able to click on one and apply that grade. So here I can just right click on the preview window of this grade and grab a still. And there's a lot of cool things that happen when you do that. Uh, first, it makes a still image on the left in our gallery. If your gallery's not open, you can just open that and it should be right there. Um, and number one, we can export this as a still. So I could easily uh, right click and hit export and then go to, let's say my desktop. And I could just, you know, if I wanted to show this to a colleague and say, hey, what do you think about this grade before I move on with the rest of this project? I can go down here, PNG or JPEG and just, you know, Beijing. Boom. Now on our desktop, I should have this Beijing image. Let me just choose a program and voila. Now we have a still that I can send off to whomever. Um, another thing we can do is save this export. We can save this as a PDX file that we can open up in other instances of DaVinci Resolve. So if you want to send this to a colleague that you're working on this project with who also has these clips in their timeline or maybe your job's done you're sitting it on to the next person and you want to send them this still that way they can actually uh, import that node tree as well that's another really cool thing you can do and the other cool thing that these stills do is if you go to a different clip uh, let's say this last clip that's ungraded i can hover over this still in our gallery and it'll let me preview the node tree that's on that clip uh, as i scrub through this new clip here which is really cool, really fast, and very, very helpful. And so with this still here, I could go to a completely new timeline. Let's say I went over to the media tab, right? And just clicked on one of these images and made a new timeline. Timeline two, sure. Open that. Now I can jump over to the color tab and we still have our still there, even though we're in a different timeline and we don't have those clips underneath. So I can again drag my finger over this clip to see how this node tree grade will look on top of this new clip. Very cool. And of course I can also click in on my mouse wheel and apply that grade. And we'll have our layer mixer, we'll have our power windows and qualifiers. And one reason it's important to uh, copy the entire node tree when you're working with qualifications and power windows is because you'll want to kind of reconfigure those things. Um, as you can see, if I click on this highlight, I had a qualifier here that was qualifying the highlights of the buildings in um, the past clip. 
uh, but in this clip you can see it's not qualifying the highlights of the buildings it's really just qualifying the sky so in this situation it's helpful to have the entire node tree uh, because when you have different luminance values I, you can go in here and I can lower the highs and get those highlights of the buildings back and hit off the highlight button and now we can more notice what's happening to the tips of those buildings I kinda had a blue tint in there um, so I can readjust these values here to even give me more of a warm tone if I want and now that's kind of a cool image it kind of makes it look like uh, you know it's kind of dull underneath and kind of warm up top so that's really cool and so let's say you wanted to copy this grade to another project because if you open up another project unfortunately these stills from this project are going to be gone and so you, how do you access this node tree from there it's really really simple uh, it's just kind of hidden so let's say I like this grade right here this is perfect um, even though it's not let's say it is if you go over here to the top left right under gallery you'll see this little control here and this is the stills album this has multiple albums of stills and so if I open this up you can see we have our stills one album which would really just be the album for the stills in this project and then we have power grades and power grades is like a stills album that goes over every project that you ever make so from here if I just right click the preview screen and it grabs still you'll see it adds that to the power grade window now if I uh, save this and go to project manager open up a new project with clips that are ungraded then and come over here to the power grade window you can see that our power grade is sitting right here and it's already ready for us to preview on top of the clip and we can also right click and apply grade and now we have a new project but with our existing uh, node tree from a previous project and we can open various projects and use this grade in any of them and it just makes it really cool because you can set up and kind of store a bunch of your favorite power grades so huge shout out to Tim the everything man for the great question and definitely make sure to go check out his channel he does awesome videos and great camera and gear reviews and if you guys like this video definitely make sure to click that like button and if you want more videos on DaVinci Resolve make sure to subscribe if you have any comments questions or concerns leave them in the comment section down below and as always I'm Marcel and this has been the Modern Filmmaker and I'll see y'all next time peace <laughs>